Talk into the mic. I, I, that way I can ever, I see that I have a radio show on WBI every week on advertising. On Mondays from five to six and I always tell people, speak into the mic loudly or you're not gonna get heard. Uh, Tish, don't stand behind me, come on. Um, I, I have the privilege of introducing Tish James who's greeting us on behalf of the city of New York. Uh, and in this, in this era, this is the era of women in politics, right? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. This is the year of the woman, this is the year of the woman, and in New York City, Tish is our star. She is our star. Now, before she ran for office, she was a working lawyer. Uh, she, was in, in the, she was a public defender, she worked for government, in government. And in 2003, she was the first candidate ever elected to the New York City Council on the Working Families Party line, not as a Democrat. She right. ran on the Working Families Party line and yep. elected in Brooklyn and became a crusading city council member. Now, I, I usually like to introduce people with stories if I can. I first had my first real conversation with Tish in 2010. I was in the process of setting up a law firm that actually never sort of happened. And, uh, and I called Tish and I said, do you want to work part-time doing some legal work, right? You were a lawyer. So she said, sure. So we sat down. We sat down in a restaurant, um, and there was a bunch of city council people there, and uh, we were talking, and she said to me, now, just to let you know, if I do this, it's not gonna, I'm not going to be around very long, because in 2013, now this is 2010, in 2013, Bill de Blasio was going to get elected mayor, and I'm going to get elected public advocate. And then, in 2021, I'm going to be mayor. <laughs> So I'm not going to be able to practice with her that long. Um, she did run for public advocate in 2013, and everybody there was a five or six person race, and everybody said she can't do it. She has the least money. Uh, she can't raise money. She doesn't have any big shots behind her. Um, and she actually was in a runoff with somebody who had millions of dollars. And Tish had not a lot of millions of dollars, didn't have a million dollars. And she won anyway. She won anyway on the strength of the last one. And that same year in a six-way race, Bill de Blasio won. Tish, in getting elected as the public advocate of the city of New York, was the first uh, woman of color ever elected to a citywide office. Amazing. 200 years of, of elections. She's the first woman of color ever elected to a citywide position in the city of New York. Yes. Yeah. She, she ran for real hard and she got an office with a budget of less than five million, less than two million. Not a lot of money. Um, like $5 million to run a citywide office as public advocate is not a lot of money. Uh, and nevertheless, in the four years that she has served as public advocate, she's been everywhere. And particularly, you know, and I say this as a parent, she has been out there for kids. She fought for free school lunch, not just for poor kids, but for everyone. So that poor kids didn't stick out when they got their free lunch. Right. Everybody got a free lunch. She fought for better school buses. She fought for paid family leave, and we got it in New York. She fought for the $15 uh, minimum wage, and we got it in New York. Tish is everywhere, and she's louder, and we hear more of her every day. There is no more progressive voice in New York City, and I have said enough, and I want to bring up my friend, the people's advocate, and the next mayor of the city of New York. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Arthur, for that introduction. And to know me, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Happy birthday. Okay, we only have a lot of time. 
Let me acknowledge uh, some of my colleagues uh, in the audience first. Uh, the man who is leading the resistance in the state Senate, Senator Michael Gennaris. <laughs> especially the co-chairs, George Albro and Tracy Strickland, and allow me to give a shout out to my Shiro, your keynote speaker, Ooh. Nina Turner. <laughs> she is the mother of the movement, the yes. uh, daughter of the resistance, and our nation's chief interrupter. So, yes, I want to thank her for that. And of course, another leader, our great, wonderful champion, Miss Cynthia Nixon. Give it up. <laughs> so, first, congratulations to all the honorees here, this movement, in this evening. And so right now, our country, as we all, all know, is in a state of crisis. We are facing a constitutional crisis. Our values, our diversity, our progress, They've been under assault since uh, the moment that this illegitimate president took office. And so we should all join together and renounce his vile and repugnant and racist remarks. And today we should summon into this space the spirit of those who are struggling right now, those who are afraid and cowering right now in the shadows. And today all of us should be Muslims, all of us should be Africans, all of us should be Asians. Ancestors was 
this building. That's right. And where women, women, and particularly black women, yeah. Yeah. represent the backbone of our democracy, say, stood up and saved this country. Yeah.